Hey everyone, this is Vipin from the Tech Blackboard and today we are going to talk about the Microsoft Azure certification in 2024. So the main focus for today's video is to let you know how can you pass any Microsoft certification in 2024. So now that we are standing in the middle of December and in just couple of weeks we will be touching Jan 2024 and I have been receiving so many questions from the viewers what are the best certifications available in Microsoft Azure what are the best course content or what are the best courses available in the market both free and paid and how exactly should you prepare for the examination so all this and much more coming up in this video so let's first set the agenda for this video so on to my computer screen but before that my friends i just want to make a quick confession that basically i am a very camera shy person and that's the reason why this channel has been so far faceless but now i have decided to come face to face and directly meet you and i guess this will make a better connect with me and my audience so that's why now i will try to come more on the camera and friends in the process i might be out of the focus i may fumble on the camera but please support me like my videos and do let me know in case you have some ideas or suggestions for me how can i improve in front of the camera and now let's begin the main video so first of all we will understand what are the different certifications available in microsoft azure and then as a second point i will let you know how should you know which certification is best for you and here i will give you two resources so that you can browse all the certification and quickly decide which certification is best suited for you and then we will also look at what are the resources available to prepare for the examination both free and paid and post that we will also talk about the big changes coming in microsoft exam now the microsoft exams have become open book so i am sure that you know what is microsoft exam open book and how can you use it to your benefit or should i say should you even use it so all these burning questions will be answered in this video and then i will also tell you which certification i am doing in 2024 and how i am preparing for the same so let's kick start the video and understand what are the different certifications available okay so now let's begin with understanding what are the different certifications available so here you can see i have this microsoft pdf if you want i will leave the link of this pdf in the description box so here you can see that this pdf is divided into five sections so here we have we first have this azure section here you can see that azure then we have dynamics 365 we also have microsoft 365 power platform and then we have security compliance and identity but for now we will only focus on this azure section and likewise you can understand for all the other sections as well so let's say that you're completely beginner my friends you do not know what is azure what is cloud computing in that case the best certification or best level for you to start would be this fundamental level so here you can see that we have this fundamental level and in this fundamental level we have three examination the first one is azure fundamentals which is az 900 which is Azure in general. And this exam will give you a high level overview of Microsoft Azure. What are the services available? How does Microsoft Azure work? What is the difference between IAS, PaaS or SaaS, virtual machines, storage services? Then you will also understand what is CAPEX, OPEX. And then you will also understand concepts like public cloud, private cloud or hybrid cloud so these are some of the core concept of microsoft azure a must know for anyone who wants to begin with microsoft azure and then we have a counterpart fundamental exam for the artificial intelligence and that is azure ai fundamentals and the exam code is ai 900 similarly if you're looking to start with the data then dp 900 or azure data fundamentals is the exam that you should go for and then my friends let's say that you are through with the fundamentals and you know what is the basics of azure artificial intelligence data fundamentals or maybe you are already working in azure for quite some time and now you want to take a jump or maybe you're looking for the next job in that case we have one next level and that is role based certification so here you can see that we have exams that starts with az 104 i think once you have done with az 900 the best exam to go for is az 104 and this exam is basically azure administrator associate so in case you're looking forward to become an azure administrator then this is the exam but let's say that you do not want to be an administrator but instead you want to be a developer then az 204 is the certification certification to go for but then if DevOps interests you then az400 or devops engineer expert is the certification that you should opt for and likewise my friends there are so many certifications for each role and that's why it is called role based 
So in case you want to go for the security, we have AZ500, network is AZ700 and then in case you want to take a leap forward in the artificial intelligence, so we just saw that we have a certification called AI900. So this was the fundamental exam. But then if you want to take the leap forward, then you should go for the Azure AI Engineer Associate, which is AI102. Similarly, once you have passed the DP900 and you are comfortable with the basics of the data in Azure, then you should go for the DP203, which is Azure Data Engineer Associate. So friends, these were the role based examination. But then in case you want to take a step forward and you want to go for the speciality, then you should go for the speciality certification. Here you can see it says speciality, which deepens your technical skills and manage your industry solution. So here what we have is Azure for SAP workloads and speciality AZ120 and then we have Azure virtual desktop speciality which is AZ140 similarly Cosmos DB DP420. So friends this PDF is one resource that you can look forward for and then I will show you one more resource where you can browse all the certification. So in this PDF there are limited certifications but then if you come on this side you can find all the certification and all the exam that Microsoft has to offer. So how to reach on this site? So first of all, you can just open this learn.microsoft.com. So once you reach on this site, you have to click on this credentials. I hope you can see this credentials. Click on this and you will reach to this page here. And here you have to click on this browse certification. So you will land up on this page where you can see all the certification. So let's see how can you find the certification which is best suited for you. So as I told you in the previous PDF, normally what people do is they always try to look the certifications based on their experience level. So here you can see that we have this section here which says levels and here we have three levels which are beginner, intermediate or associate level and then we have advanced level. So if you are a beginner, you can just click on this and all the certifications that comes under the fundamental series will be shown here. And once again, as we saw in the previous PDF, we have AI 900, DP 900, AZ 900. And similarly for the power platform, we have PL 900 and for the security, we have SC 900. And now let's just say that you are through with the fundamental level. You can always come back to this page and you can see remove this filter and then we can have a look on the intermediate or associate level exam. So here we have AI 102, we have MD 102, we have AZ 104, one of the very popular Microsoft exams. And not only that, we also have something from the data side, which is DP 203. So all these are streams, my friends, in case you want to go for the architect level or you're looking to become solution architect, then you should aim for the AZ 104 at least. But then in case artificial intelligence is the area for your interest, then AI 102 or else if you love the data and want to be a data engineer, then DP 200 three is the certification. Similarly, you can also check out the certification based on the expert level. If you want to do that, come on, clear the filter and then you can go for the advanced level certification. Now friends, there are other ways on this page with which you can filter out the certification. For example, let's say that you're only concentrating or you're only focusing for the certification just on Azure. In that case, you can put this filter here. So this is only the certification for the Microsoft Azure and you can also mix and match the filtration. So now that we have Azure as the base filter, you can also go ahead and now choose beginner. So now it shows you only the certification related to Microsoft Azure, but on the beginner level. Similarly, if you want to go for the other certification, maybe you're interested in Dynamics 365 or maybe Office or Microsoft 365, Microsoft Defender or any other certification, come on to this page and choose your filtration. The third filter I want to show you is this one, which is the role based. As I just said that you want to be an administrator. In that case, just pick the certification which are related to administrator. Similarly, artificial intelligence or maybe you're just a business analyst. In that case, you can go for this filter. So friends, these are the two resources. First, that PDF file and then this certification page from Microsoft where you can come choose the certification that is best suited for you. So that was our first section. So I have told you what are the different certification which certification is best for you and what are the two resources that you can use to find out the correct certification. Now let's talk about the resources that are available to prepare for the exam, both free and paid. The very first resource that I want to suggest you for any certification, be it beginner or associate or expert level is Microsoft Learn. So let's say that you want to do the AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator, then always come to this Microsoft official documentation and here you can find all about the AZ104 
what are the course content of the AZ104, what is the syllabus and here on this documentation you can also find when was this exam last updated and then you will also find few more other important tips for example what is the passing score you can also find the easy 104 exam preparations videos and please note that this is just an example i am taking for easy 104 this is similar for any certification and then you can also find on this page itself what is the study guide for the easy 104 and not only that you will also find the exam sandbox most importantly my friends you will also find a detailed skills measured under any exam and of course not to forget on this very page only you will also find the cost of the examination so first let's see what are the skills measured we have all the skills measured for the easy 104 you can read that and then we have these two ways to prepare so first one is self-paced and then we have instructor led i always go for the self-paced so here you can see all these are the syllabus or all these are the course content for the easy 104 and microsoft has well elaborated all the concepts that you will need to pass any examination so here you can see we have different modules we have this one AZ104 prerequisite for the Azure administrator and then we have lot of other modules as well. So always make sure to click on this see more so that you can find out all the modules in that particular course. And friends the correct way to make the best out of it is that go to every module first always start with the prerequisite if there is any and then you should go through all these sub modules in that particular major module and friends once you're done with all these sub modules and the major modules you will be in a very good shape to go for the examination but wait my friends hold your horses do not jump to the exam just by completing this course content you can also refer some other resources for example there are many good courses from Udemy, Coursera, Simply Learn and here my friends I'm just taking an example of this course from Udemy which is from Scott Duffy who is the master in Azure and he makes really good courses on any azure certification and here you can see that this course is available for the 79.99 euros but do not buy this exam at this particular course see normally there are always some discounts available on these courses always go for the price band which is available from 11 euros to 14 euros and just to remind you now that boxing day and christmas holidays are coming these courses will be available in just a fraction of the cost mentioned here and friends i want to make a very clear disclaimer here i'm not associated or affiliated this is not a sponsored video from any of the brand name that i have just taken i'm just telling you what are the best resources available on the internet you can definitely pick any of these that best suits you always remember any of the course that you pick should be latest should be updated based on the microsoft syllabus and in case you're going for the associate or intermediate or maybe the expert level make sure that that particular course has some practical labs based on the syllabus and friends as i said in the introduction section that i would reveal what is the certification that i am doing and that is none other than ez102 which is designing and implementing a microsoft azure ei solution so this is the certificate that i am targeting for 2024 you can also target the same ai artificial intelligence is so much in demand and it makes a lot of sense to do it here you can see i have already completed some of the modules you can see this here completed completed but then as i just said do not jump to the exam just by completing microsoft learn i will take some more courses and practice some real exam like questions and yes that reminds me of one thing there is one more resource that you can opt for and that is absolutely free so we on the tech blackboard channel we also have some exam preparation series for both microsoft azure and aws and the most popular series that we have is az 900 dp 900 ai 900 az 104 and dp 203 and yes you can be sure as i'm doing 102 ai 102 i will not do this certification alone i will also help you out in clearing this certification as well and that's the big reason for you to subscribe to this channel press that bell icon so you are updated with most latest q a series on all these examinations and in these videos my friends i have taken some exam like questions practice questions exam terms that you can practice your knowledge or your preparations so you can test your knowledge and preparations against these exam like questions and this will surely give you a lot of confidence to sit for the real exam and now my friends let's talk about microsoft open book exam so first of all at the very onset let me clear this out that this open book is only available for the associate or intermediate exams and the expert level exams it is not available for the azure fundamental exams 
Okay, so now let's first understand what is this open book all about. So firstly, in the open book exams, you can actually go to the Microsoft Learn and refer the documentation while in the real exam. So now let me tell you which section of Microsoft documentation you can access in the exam. So first of all, always open this learn.microsoft.com and once you have done that, then go to the documentation section. So this is the section that you can refer in the real exam. So here, let's say that you're going for any Azure exam, just scroll a little down and here you can see this Azure section. So let's say that you are sitting in the exam and maybe you have some question. Let's say that you have some question. Let's say you have some questions on storage. Let's say that you want some information on Azure blob storage. You can come on to this section and get all the information about Azure Blob Storage. And similarly, you can refer any other documentation, any other section, maybe you want to have some understanding. On compute, you can come on to this section. So let's say that you're looking for some information on Azure Virtual Machine. Where is the Azure Virtual Machine here? So here it is, here you can see Azure Virtual Machine. And now let's say that you have some question on what are the different sizes available in Azure Virtual Machine. You can come on to this section and find out all the information. Now friends, I have seen there is a lot of backlash on this strategy from Microsoft that they have started this open book. So people who have already taken the certification, now they are kind of unhappy. The argument they are saying is that they have to mug up or remember all these stats and all these, let's say, virtual machine sizes, all that code and every other detail. But now the new people who are going for the certification, they can just come on to the Microsoft Learn and clear the examination. But let me share with you my unbiased take on this. So friends, as I see this move from the Microsoft, I think it's a brilliant move because let's be honest, in the real life or in the real working in Microsoft Azure or any other cloud, you do not have to remember all the virtual machine sizes or what are the different support plans available or maybe what are the different storages available. So you and I, let's be very frank, we do not remember all of these. And whenever the need arises, we always come on to the documentation and find all the relevant information that we need for the day to day work. And I think that's the only thinking behind this step from Microsoft. So Microsoft do not want the developers or the solution architect to remember the nitty gritties of all the hundreds of services available in Microsoft Azure. And plus my friends, there is one more point. See all these services, See all these services, be it Azure Virtual Machine, Azure Storage, they keep on updating. So practically, humanly, it's not possible for us to remember all the details of all these services. And that's why in the practical life also, we always come on to these documentation, refer them and do our work. So that's why I really appreciate this decision from Microsoft. But then please do share what is your opinion on the same. Do you also feel the same as I do or maybe you have some contrary view? And trust me friends, it would be really interesting for me to know what is your view on this one. So let's summarize in today's video. First of all, we covered what are the different certifications available. And here I shared two resources. First one was the PDF and then was the Microsoft Browse Credential page where you can find out the certification that is best suited for you. And post that I showed you how to prepare for the exams. What are the different resources and courses available both free and paid. And here, once again, I want to emphasize this is not a sponsored video from any of the brand that I have named in this video. And then I also told you what is the exam or the certification that I am preparing for 2024. And lastly, I told you what is Microsoft Open Book exam. And in case my friends, you really want to know details of the Microsoft Open Book, then you can watch this video. In this video, I have taken the complete details of Microsoft Open Book. How can you use the Open Book? And in fact, I've shown in the real exam format, how can you use this Microsoft open book to your benefit. And friends, in the coming days, I will also do one more video on the exam tips, which will really help you out in the real exam. So please watch out this space, like the video, share this video with your family and friends or maybe the office colleague so that they can also benefit and pass the Azure certification in 2024. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.